Hey, welcome back to Plug and Play EV. I'm Steve, this is our 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5, and today we'll be looking at the fast charging, DC fast charging, specifically on Electrify America, and how you can set up your two years free charging with this uh, port here. Today we are looking at free EV charging, specifically in the Hyundai Ionic 5, and how to get access to the complimentary two years of free charging on Electrify America, and also in other EVs, and the situations and scenarios in which you'll find yourself able Able to get a complimentary charge or just suck up some free electrons from a public charger. One thing to note before we jump into specifically the Ionic 5 charging plan is that uh, at the time of recording we're a couple of days before Earth Day and Electrify America has announced uh, offering free uh, complimentary charging to all electric vehicles that uh, plug in on Earth Day, April the 22nd, that's this Friday. So if you're able to either take a trip during that day or you have an Electrify America station near you, you'll be able to plug in and get some free juice. This is something that Electrify America does fairly often. They've done it as a rule on uh, most kind of large uh, public holidays. So your July 4th, your uh, Memorial Day, Labor Day, that kind of thing. You'll find them uh, the stations displaying the charges on us and uh, sometimes they'll promote it, sometimes they won't, but uh, it's been a fairly common thing for the last 18 months that we've seen. And that's just uh, essentially what they call free vend mode in Europe. You plug in and uh, there's no need to pull out your app or anything. It just fires up the station and your session is free, regardless how long you spend. Okay, so first things first, you obviously have to buy or lease a 2022 Hyundai Ionic 5 to get this uh, complimentary two years. There are some other scenarios where that's going to be elongated, but that's not for this video. Right now, we just want to focus on you've uh, got yourself into a Hyundai Ionic 5 in some way, shape or form, and you want to activate that uh, complimentary charging on Electrify America as soon as you can. So the first thing is to distinguish between a couple of different Hyundai plans. They have in the past with Electrify America had deals for 250 kilowatt hours uh, free for the Hyundai Kona Electric and the other form of the Ionic, the sedan the original. That is not what we're applying to the Ionic 5. That's a limited uh, quantity which you'll eventually use up and then have to go back to the paid plan. This is a time-based two-year deal of uh, unlimited sessions uh, for 30 minutes and that's the plan that you want. It's specifically called in the Electrify America app the Ionic 5 plan. So you'll need two numbers for this. One is really easily accessible. That's just your VIN. That's pretty much on every document you've got. It's also on the car in the front windscreen and you'll find it on most of the documentation that you use for insurance, anything like that. So uh, finding the VIN should be relatively easy. That's the vehicle identification number. Um, the second one is a little more incongruous, not necessarily something you'd easily know. Uh, it's the last eight digits of the engine code, which you can find on your window sticker, the Monroe sticker uh, what you get here I'll uh, overlay this you have uh, an engine code which is two letters two numbers three letters four numbers and then the final letter so it's the last eight digits of that which make it um, the three letters then the four numbers and then the final letter so with that data in hand you can then go into the Electrify America app which again we may overlay this if I can do it easily but you'll see if you go to your account settings, that's the bottom right hand corner, you can go to this one under payment and plans called premium offers, which is right here. That will take you through to uh, various offers. You can browse all of your offers and you're going to be looking for the Hyundai Ionic 5 charging plan and your enrollment code will be your engine code. So you'll go through that and then you'll get into this plan right here that you can see the Hyundai Ionic 5. That's uh, gonna be 30 minutes of DC fast charging or 60 minutes of level two charging. If you have a site that has level two in your area, they are quite uh, rare unless you're in a kind of built up uh, metropolitan area which has a lot of these community sites. So once you've done that, you should be able to go through and have it as the active plan on your uh, Electrify America app. 
And after that, once you're set up, all you should need to do is go into the app and start sessions in the normal way. That will then record each session. And as long as you're beneath that 30 minutes on DC fast charging and beneath that 60 minutes on level two charging, you will uh, have a discount applied at the end of the session. It will tell you how much it cost or would have cost, but then you'll uh, have that zeroed out as long as you're within those parameters. So relatively easy, but uh, not something that um, everybody has been able to find in terms of the engine code. It's uh, something that the dealers really should give at the time of purchase, but not everyone is knowledgeable about it. Some people say they'll follow up afterwards and maybe they haven't got that follow up immediately. So uh, one thing to note, And while we're on the subject of free charging here, uh, what if it's not one of these Electrify America holidays or you haven't bought a model that uh, has some of the unlimited charging, the more generous offers as the uh, Ionic 5 does or the um, Volkswagen ID4, which gets uh, three years complimentary charging, then some of the more expensive models uh, in your Audis, Porsches and such and Lucids. Well, if you're not in one of these models outside of the holidays, uh, it's a little more kind of hit and miss. Uh, you will be able to use things like Volta charging, uh, which do have some DC fast chargers, but for the most part, they are level two network ad supported. So with Volta, you'll see large screens with various advertisers uh, paying for that space. They're usually in high traffic areas such as uh, retail centers, uh, movie theaters, uh, grocery stores, anywhere where there's a decent number of people to see the advertising. And that's where your uh, the advertisers are kind of supplementing your charging session at that point. So uh, fairly, you know, win-win model for EV drivers. But again, those are in uh, select markets. They tend to be around big cities or suburban areas of cities. Uh, if you go to the Vault app, you'll see what's near you. You can also filter by them in PlugShare to find just that network, and they will always be free. There are some uh, payment potentials in the uh, DC fast charging, but at the moment that's such a new model for them, and there are so few of those available that uh, I wouldn't really worry about going into it in this video. And if we stick with PlugShare, which uh, every EV driver uh, should have just in case they need it either in an emergency or if you really just want to explore your local area and the charging options around you, um, there's a little filter in here. If you go to um, the filters tab up the top right, and that's going to give you a bunch of stuff here. If you scroll down to the miscellaneous section, there's uh, one that is requires feet. If you toggle that off, take off the radio button that will uh, take you back and then you'll find all of the charges listed that uh, do not require a fee so essentially they're free now this is a little bit wild west um, so there are some on here that are just coming soon um, so maybe those will eventually be paid and require a fee there are others on here which may be uh, things like hotels that kind of thing where you have to be a guest to actually stay or you have to be shopping with the facility to um to be able to charge so always check that out look at each individual listing but anything that is left when you toggle that requires fee off you should then be able to look at the various listings see which ones might suit you so in some cases these will be dealerships that's always not a red flag as such but certainly something to think about at dealership charging it can be slower so you may find like at chevrolet dealerships the 25 kilowatt stations which are classed as fast charging and do use the ccs uh, standard but are you know going to be very slow in uh, in any vehicle um, so it will be free but you're going to take your time other dealerships have had problems uh, with inventory cars stock cars uh, being put near the charger so people can't get access sometimes it's put away behind a uh, service department so with dealership charging you're always walking that tightrope of do they allow the public to access it do i have a model that is in line with that dealership so maybe a nissan dealer will let nissan's charge but not uh, chevrolet's or other models so just always bear that in mind you can look in plug share at the comments down below see what's happening see what recent check-ins people have had and whether they've been able to charge successfully just know that these tend to be either backups to your backup or something that you'll have to go in with your eyes wide open knowing that it may not be available
So there's a couple of vagaries about this um, this plan. Uh, one is obviously the 30 minute sessions. Uh, what happens if you go over that? As we discovered in the um, cold session, uh, not every D DC fast charging session in the Ionic 5 is going to be complete uh, under 30 minutes. Most of the time it should be. We've been averaging somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes for our stops on this trip. But for the most part, uh, you may get close to that 30 minutes and if you go over it will then charge you the um, price that is at the station whether that's per kilowatt hour uh, or per minute depending on the state you're in but some people have been able to and we've actually had this uh, on our trip been able to unplug come back and plug in again now a couple of times on this trip uh, we did that purely to switch to a higher power charger once that became available so it wasn't trying to game the system in this case but that has been what uh, people have been able to do if you get to the point where you're on that 30 minute or 60 minute for level two cutoff you unplug end the session and then go again so it was reported early on that there would be a 60 minute blackout window where you wouldn't be able to use the uh, free charging plan on electrify america um, after you ended a session and then you'd have to wait 60 minutes um, and to start another one that was free at least you could still obviously start in theory um, a paid session but that hasn't been the case in uh, our experience a lot of other users on the forums have been reporting back they just unplug plug back in again and the session is still free um, so who knows how long that will last it may be something they just haven't put into place yet to have this 60 minute blackout period so take it in the spirit it's intended. Hopefully most of your sessions will be beneath 30 minutes anyway, but uh, that's the current state of affairs if you decide to unplug and plug back in again. So there are various options for free and complimentary charging. Uh, you can go with a manufacturer that has uh, worked out a decent deal with one of the charging networks. Uh, Electrify America has a bunch of them. It looks like EVgo will kind of line up with uh, traditional partners Nissan and also General Motors models in the future. They seem to be working together pretty uh, closely. Um, and then you've got state level networks that sometimes will offer complementary periods of charging. And then obviously things like Volta which, and whatever you can find in plug share. That can be the Wild West, as I say. Um, I've written an article on this for Find the Best Car Price com which i'll link in the description and comments down below so take a look at that if you want some more of a deeper dive into uh, the various uh, charging options we've talked about here but if you've got a hyundai ionic 5 uh, recently have you been able to charge for free on electrify america how are you intending to use that will it be a regular um, source of energy for you or is it just for road trips or do you use another uh, network does volta have a good presence near the you that you can do it whilst you grocery shop while you watch a movie that kind of thing or does your local town or local businesses offer complimentary charging in uh, ways that we haven't covered in this video always interested to hear and obviously share the wealth where you can get these uh, complimentary electrons at a time when gas prices are going through the roof um, free charging is certainly something that people will look at uh, evs um, to kind of cut out for two three years or beyond but we have that in our arsenal to kind of put out there as uh, a benefit of driving electric uh, cheaper at home in general from your home electricity rates and if you can pair that with complementary charging when you get the opportunity uh, this is all good stuff uh, for selling electric vehicles so let us know what you think down in the comments uh, talk about you know your experience with charging and complementary charging whether it's been uh, a great deal or an unmitigated disaster um, just let us know and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.